13 Action News Update sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Jackie Kostek and right now on your 13 Action News Update, Las Vegas Metro Police say a hiker found the body of a young boy this morning in the desert between Las Vegas and Pahrump. He's believed to be between 8 and 12 years old. Investigators believe the boy was killed and left there within the last 24 hours. Right now, police are trying to figure out who the boy is and if you have any information, you're asked to call police. The man accused of a day long standoff during which he fired shots at police and took a child and babysitter hostage did not appear in court today. The hearing for 24 year old Antonio Barry Edwards was moved to next week. He's facing more than 30, 20 criminal charges, including kidnapping and assault. The four year old baby and his babysitter are safe. A new video of the moment an earthquake struck Carson City. This happened while state lawmakers were in session. You can see the plexiglass shaking. The 4.1 magnitude quake hit just before 830 this morning, and the U.S. Geological Survey says the epicenter was underneath Lake Tahoe. There are no reports of any injuries or buildings damaged. Another big story today, Game 7 for the Golden Knights. Puck drop at 6 p.m. against, of course, the Minnesota Wild. Temperatures are really warm. Highs today climbing to the upper 90s. So as of puck drop, we still expect mid-90s and by 9 or 10, finally dropping back into the upper 80s. Clear sky and calm wind. But tomorrow, cloud cover moves in as a bit of a breeze picks up. That drops temperatures a degree or two, but still very warm, slightly above average with a forecast high of 96 for your Saturday. We bump it back up to 98 on Sunday as the cloud cover clears and on Memorial Day we're getting awfully close to those triple digits forecast high of 99 degrees and as we head into June 1st that's when we expect the triple digit heat to settle in. All right hot this weekend and hopefully the Golden Knights will be hot tonight. That was your 13 action news update. You can always get the latest news at KTNB.com.